Hello, my name is Daniel Fry. I am a landscape photographer from uh, the great state of Michigan. Um, check out my website, www.danfry.com. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to clean your tripod. If you're like me, you're pretty abusive to your tripods and you need them to, uh, but you still need them to function properly, and sometimes that requires you to do a little bit of cleaning. Um, I typically clean my tripods at least at least once a year, if not every six months, depending on where I'm going. Uh, I just recently finished a trip in the, uh, the Upper Peninsula, and I got quite a bit of sand in my tripod. So it is time for a little bath, and I'm going to show you what you can do to clean your tripod and make it work like new again. Now, um, you can see here, I already clean one leg. That one kind of goes up and down really quickly, but these other ones... They're stuck. Whereas this one, it works. So I want them all to work like this one. So to do that, these are simple screw locks. This is a Faisal uh, CT3441. Uh, it's a great tripod if you're looking for a good one. Real stable. I really like it. A little short for me, but um, I like things small and lightweight so I can attach them to my hiking bag. But uh, let's get started. To start, we're going to take and we're just going to unscrew the twist locks until they are all the way apart. And then we're just going to pull the whole piece out. Okay. Now you'll be able to see on here we have the non-rotating clip. This clip is what holds the uh, tripod leg um, in place so that when you twist it and untwist it, you're not rotating the leg itself. And then you have these little clips right here, which kind of hold it sturdy and stable while it's uh, inside the tripod leg. We're going to take all those off. You can probably see these are somewhat dirty. Not too bad on these, but they don't slide very good. And then you can probably see there's just there's a lot of residue. Looks well, even a little bit of water left off inside there. But, uh, this is what we do to clean off the tripod. Uh, for starters, I like to make sure that, you know, in order to have optimal uh, optimal sliding, I like to make sure that I have a nice smooth surface going right here, and it's it's actually pretty scuffed up. So what I actually use is a, uh, it's kind of like an eraser. It's it's part of a suede cleaner. I don't know. My wife got it, but it works really good. It's it's kind of like an eraser, so it's, it's enough to kind of smooth down the surface, but not enough to actually wear down the surface. So I kind of just take and, and rub it all the way down to kind of give me a nice smooth surface. Even though this is a carbon fiber tripod, there is a uh, a finish, almost like a clear coat, maybe right over top of it. And that clear coat sometimes gets a little scratched. So this kind of just smooths out that clear coat finish, kind of like a uh, kind of like a clay bar on a car. Um, and kind of take out some of those surface scratches. And once that's done, take a wet rag and just get all that any residue off, any dirt off. Make sure it's nice and clean. And then we end up with a nice clean doesn't really look scratched except right there at the top doesn't really look scratched tripod leg and then you want to take each and every single one of these little guys and you want to clean any little see maybe see a little bit a little bit of dirt on that you want to clean off every single one of these again I'm just using a damp rag just get all that dirt off of every one of them I'll typically do this while I'm uh, watching a ball game or when I'm watching uh, TV with the wife when she's watching one of her shows or just after everyone's in bed and I'm just got nothing better to do <laughs> and the tripod needs it. 
And once we get all of these pieces cleared off, piece here all right I got all the dirt off of that I'm gonna take the non rotating clip make sure that's nice and clean get everything off of there now these things here you can typically if, if they get too worn down you can always uh, order replacement parts the manufacturer will uh will uh you know you can either order them sometimes they send them to you um i'm not sure what faisal does but um so far i've had this about two years now i they're probably getting close to it so i may find out soon um then you want to take the rotating piece i don't like to go too hard because i don't want to rub off any of the oil but if you do rub off too much of the oil because you have too much sand stuck inside there or other debris um just a little bit of grease does fine. A little bit of white lithium grease. Or... Alright. And then once that's clean, I'm going to take and make sure this is also clean. Just lightly go over it. Make sure there's no dirt or debris on that. Clean out the inside there. And we are ready to put it back together. So we will start with this, the rotating uh, screw piece goes on first, and then typically there will be one that's slightly different than the rest, I don't know if you can see this, but it's got like a little bottom lip, that one goes in first, it's got that little lip that's going to, no you won't be able to see that, it's going to stop the uh, dirt from getting on the inside, and then these kind of, at least for this tripod, they kind of go opposites. So one's got the taper, and then the other one's flat, and then the top one's got the taper at the top. Then, I'm going to slide that back on. Sure there's these little, there's a hole in it, and then there's, I really can't show you the inside of that. There's a little spot where the, you go inside that hole. That until it stays in there. Make sure you got all the pieces down. And we're just gonna slide this right back in. Sometimes you gotta work those other pieces in there. Screw it back together. And there you have it. Now if I did it right, this thing should come up and down really good. I'm going to do the next one just in case you didn't get it the first time. I'm going to unscrew it all the way. I'm going to take off the clip. Take off my other pieces there. And take off that part. I'm going to clean it off. Again, I'm going to take my, I'm not really sure how this clean suede, but I found it, I started using it, that works good. I'm going to smooth out that surface, because obviously a smoother surface, less likely to get any more debris stuck inside there. It'll also kind of clean up some of the blemishes that are on it. But you're going to get a nice flat surface for tripod legs to slide in and out on. Make sure you get all those little pieces off of there. You don't want that to get stuck into your clean tripod legs there. Alright. Again, I'm going to clean off these pieces. Make sure there's no dirt or debris. see just little bits even if you can't see it there's still just a little bit of dirt on there and that, 
that stops it from sliding. Again, I find doing this during like a like a baseball game where there's especially ones where there's not a whole lot of excitement. Like my current Tigers, there's not a whole lot of excitement with them. So I'll sit back and watch their game. At least at the time of this filming, they're uh, they're not doing pretty good. We've we've been pretty blessed over the last. Six, seven, eight years now. All right. Then again, just going to lightly go through here to try to get any sand off. I don't want to rub off any of the grease because I don't have any replacement grease. I want to get down here at the bottom because this is where the stuff is going to collect. And then, again, I'm going to clean out this side. I'm just going to slide into. And then again, lightly go over the threads. Make sure I'm not rubbing too hard. Just want to get any of the dirt off. And then again, we start with the twist lock. And then in my particular model, we got the ones with that's got the little lip down there at the bottom. And then again, we're gonna alternate. That's got a little taper at the top. I'm going to put the flat, taper, flat, and the one with the taper. Again, we got that little hole. And this has, can I see a little indentation? Maybe, right there. This one probably needs to be replaced. This has got a lot of scratches on it. So I'll probably call Faisal for that. And then... Gotta find out where that it's got the little line. Gotta find out where that line goes. Right there. That way it doesn't rotate while you're twisting and untwisting your locks. Get it all the way in. Nice and tight. So now I got the bottom two. They go really good. As opposed to, I think, I don't remember if I did this one or not. Yeah, I did that one already. And this is what they were like. You can see that one. It's my next one that needs to be clean. So, there you have it. I got one more leg lock to do. I will uh, do that one. I'll probably speed up the motion a little bit so you don't have to listen to me babble, I guess. So, I'll do this one real quick. And there you have it. We went from that one's cleaner, and now we got all the way down. Now we can undo it and do it with a single twist. And there you have it. That's how you clean the tripod legs of a. Uh, Faisal carbon fiber tripod. Um, and I actually really highly recommend these tripods. They're great. Um, if you take a look at my work, again, www.danfry.com, you'll see exposures upwards of 35, 40 minutes um, without shake. This thing's great for 3.1 pounds. Uh, highly recommend this tripod. Very small, very lightweight and it does not move, even in windy conditions, even for really long exposures. I love it. And there you have it. Thank you for watching. So I wanted to show you the finished product. What did I end up with? And twist. They all pull down. There you have it.